everyone. Thanks for uh, watching and tuning into our channel. And uh, if you hadn't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. It's free. It's free to subscribe. It doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't. One of our friends ask, "How much is it?" It doesn't. It doesn't cost <laughs> it's like you. It's free. It doesn't cost you any money to subscribe to the channel. And so uh, watch it. So, and if you are subscribed, we hope you're enjoying the videos. We're gonna stuff. change things up just a little bit. How we're doing things. We're gonna post more often. A little shorter so we're gonna do all of our vlogs we're gonna continue to do they're just gonna be shorter segments so they're a little bit easier for y'all to watch and and um, so you don't have to sit down and watch a spend whole, a whole hour. hour so we're gonna see how that goes so give us some positive feedback give us a comment if you like that idea and uh, if you do let us know underneath here we hope y'all are enjoying our channel. I also want to say thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all for helping us get to our Absolutely. goal. We way surpassed thank it. You, yes. It was exciting. Yeah. So we thank awesome. y'all for thank all the you. shout outs. We're just super excited. So we told you we would do two things when well, we hit our goal. But before you get started, make sure that uh, you can follow, follow us on social media. Yes. Uh, on Instagram. Yes. Uh, Real Life with the Copelands. And we That's actually. our official Instagram. We still have a private Facebook. Oh, it's a private Facebook. It is a private. They've got to ask to be our friend. They can, though. Request. It's Kimberly Shea Copeland. Yeah. yeah. And it says fancy. So that's, that'll be your key that you know that's our real life um, with the Copeland feed. So um, just to kind of tell y'all, we said we would do two things when we got to 1,000 subscribers. One was we're going to share my green bean recipe, which we've done. And two, this baby, he wants me. If I'm in the vicinity, look who he wants. Oh. <laughs> he had to get up here. He's got to be a part of the action. So we told you we'd tell you about Astro. Astro, which you see, Shay's got a baseball shirt on. So first, let's tell you this. Because yeah, it's not always before, what you think. Before, Yeah, before <laughs> we get into why, why Astro is Astro. Astro. And just kind of tell you, you know, our family, we're, we're a baseball family. And Shay played college baseball. Yeah, which he a lot loves of you know baseball. that we love baseball. I grew up. Watch Shay's story if you haven't seen it. Grew yet. up watching the Rangers of my whole life. I mean, that's what my dad watched on TV. We went to Ranger games. Uh, I actually, when I moved back to Texas from playing college ball, I lived in Arlington and went to Ranger games all the time. Love the Rangers. I mean, I, I love them. And I we like went, the Rangers yeah, too. Yeah, I mean, I always, don't just like the Rangers. And when we lived in Dallas, we went to Ranger Yeah, games. went to Ranger games. I'm, I wouldn't call me a we went Ranger to the, fan like Shay is. Yeah, we went to the 2011 World Series um, when they faced the Cardinals. But actually, was, I'm a Cardinal fan. I'm a St. Louis Cardinal fan. I grew up watching the Cardinals. My daddy grew up in the middle of the country. No TV listening to transistor radio and as a little boy he would listen to the cardinals i think is it harry carey is that who announced that's that yeah, then, yeah, I, think. Yeah, I think so yeah so he listened his whole life he was a big time cardinal fan so me growing up our summer vacations were spent what city are the cardinals playing in and whatever city that was that's where we went we went to st louis every summer as well but we would travel around, and my dad actually had a motor coach that we traveled around and followed sure. Cardinal games. I've been in tornadoes in Missouri in the summer following those St. Louis Cardinals. So I'm a diehard Cardinal fan. So the year that the Rangers played the Cardinals, Shay, that was on Shay's bucket list, was to go to the World Series. And the Cardinals, I, I do have to say this, the Cardinals have been in the World Series a lot. Uh, yeah, but the Rangers finally a, got in. If you're is, a Ranger they're fan, they're a great I'm organization. <laughs> and actually, growing up, which is funny, you know, I was a Ranger fan and loved all the Rangers. But I was a shortstop as a little kid. And, you loved Ozzie Smith and, then. And growing up, Ozzie Smith <laughs> yeah. was was my favorite player. So that's kind of funny. That was my era. I loved Ozzie Smith. Yeah, you know, if yeah. you left the Cardinals, you um. Definitely. We've got somebody at our door. Let's push pause real quick. No, no one ever comes to our door. <laughs> so random. So, um, growing up, he watched the Rangers. I loved the Cardinals. So, we are big time baseball fans. And if we go to cities, like we went to Chicago and we went and watch the Cubs. Like, we just love baseball. We go to baseball games wherever we are. We've been in Miami, we, and actually, we didn't go because we did something else, but the did. kids went to the Mar Marlin game. When we were in New York, we went, we went and watched the, the Yankees. Yeah. Uh, who were the Yankees playing? 
Uh, actually, this is, really and this remember. is so I weird. I did this for your birthday. No, no, I know. You really are baseball people. This is crazy, which this will, it'll kind of all tie it in, is, um, and this was early in the season. She took me for, for my birthday to New York, and she, awesome seats behind home plate, but actually they were playing the, uh, the, playing. the Red Sox. Oh, yeah, yeah, The yeah. Red Sox. Yeah. Which, that year... The Red Sox won the World Series. Oh, yeah. So, that's cool. So, yeah. So we love baseball. Cool. We go to baseball games all over. So, for his birthday, we were down in Houston. We have a whole Which huge group of friends in Houston. 2000. Two years ago. Yeah. So, it would be 2017. Yeah. Two yeah. years ago. Yeah. Two years ago. So, we and um, some really close friends of ours. The real deal O'Neills. Yes. They <laughs> had gotten us... Um, some tickets for our kids to go to batting practice. Yeah, to watch the players take batting practice. So we were going to have dinner with them, meet them. Shay and I just like to go see cities. Like we just like to do fun stuff while we're there. So it was us and Maverick and Memphis. And so we went downtown Houston and early. Our and our friends. And, and our friends. And, we their, met two, them and, and their, their two boys. Their two boys. Yeah. Met them at this really cool restaurant, and we, and we were went at the restaurant what three hours? Yeah, way early before. Yes. I mean, like there way before there wasn't the people game. around or anything really. Nobody was there but us. Yeah, we much. were the only people in the restaurant at, at, that, first, at one yeah. at one time. And we met Missy and Dustin there, and Grant and Lincoln, and um, we just had a good time. Our boys, we have always with all four of our kids, we just take them everywhere. And they eat at nice restaurants. Our kids can sit for two or three hours and have dinner and entertain themselves and act good, interact with other adults. Which I are, mean, we've just always asking for a phone or something. Yeah. <laughs> so we were at that restaurant, and at, people did start coming in as it was later on. And I didn't even know who it was, but there was a guy, I guess two oh, guys. Which actually, the boys, they got me this shirt this, that for my birthday. Yeah. They brought this yeah. to me for, for my birthday because they were hanging out with Missy and Dustin yes. during the day. So the boys brought Shay that. Yeah. So we were in the restaurant. We kind of look like we're Astro fans because I had orange and navy on. Shay got this shirt. So he, I don't know, I think he threw it on. Yeah, um, I did. So we're like there and these guys were over in business suits eating. I wasn't paying any attention. Well, one of them started really talking to Memphis. And Memphis was visiting with them and Maverick, but well, Memphis. Just, well, just to tell you, we, we knew who one of the gentlemen. I did. Uh, I yeah, didn't. We you did. We did. We did. Oh, my gosh. Uh -uh. No, Astro. We've got somebody yeah. here doing some work. And so we knew who <laughs> one of the And it was actually. No, Astro. The, no. <laughs> the owner of the, the Astros. He was. It looked like he was having a, a meeting with a guy there. Uh, so we knew who he was, but you know, we're like, I mean, he's just, he's just a guy and he was just having a meeting. I didn't even we're, know who yeah, it was, we, we nor know, it I didn't know. matter to me. I mean, who Which, was, yeah. Yeah. Dustin, Dustin and I were talking. Okay. About so yeah. he was super chill, yeah. super nice, visiting with us. Yeah. He started visiting with us and really talking to the kids. Yes. And he was very complimentary of our kids and how well behaved they were. And so then he, he asked, he asked, are y'all going to batting practice? And we're like, yes, sir. The, the kids are going or whatever. Yeah. At and that he, point, I knew who he was. And he said, he said, well, I'll, I'll come find y'all. Mm -hmm. And we're, you know, at the, you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> or, or whatever. Which it was just our kids. that. Were, I'm like, we may have to pause for a minute till this guy gets off of our porch. Because he's not going to stop. Like, I know him. <laughs> So we take the kids to the batting practice, uh, me, and, me and Dustin. And, and Missy and I stayed they, back at the restaurant and started visiting more with Mr. Crane. And uh, he was just really, really going on and on about the kids. And uh, especially Shook for some reason. And um, said, I'm going to run over there and find them. So about that time, Dustin and Shay were coming back. And he left. And... I was like, gosh, that man was so nice. I mean, he was just... He really was nice. He was very, very personable and um, just sincere and genuine. And we we just really liked him. And so we were excited about going and meeting the boys. We were going to meet the boys at the game. And so we let some time go by, and then stayed all at us, the restaurant. And then all of a sudden we started getting pictures. We were getting all these texts and videos, and videos, and videos from Missy's son. 
of um, them that not just at batting practice, yeah, but back in um, the well, locker room. Yeah, he took them. He took them to the locker room, and the Astros they have this championship belt, and they got to put the championship belt on, and they met. Jose Altuve, they met Dallas Cockle, they met George Springer. They were like they had um, Xbox in the locker room for the players. We were laughing. He was showing them everything. And he actually, he he took them underneath the stadium where they have their, all their batting cages. He took his suit jacket off and he threw BP to all the boys. For you women out there that don't know about baseball, that's uh, batting practice, yeah. BP. Uh, but yeah, he was actually throwing pitches to our kids. And then uh, Lincoln said when he was pitching to Memphis, he was like, you're, you're so awesome. You're going to go in the first round of the draft. I mean, <laughs> just building him up, encouraging him. And, you know, I just think I, I really, that really spoke to my soul. For somebody that did not know us from Adam, and one of his employees told us he had had a very bad day that day, and he never does that, she said. She said that is something he does not do. It was very shocking to her, and spent all this time with the kids, gave them all these souvenirs. Hats, uh, bought these bobblehead, these uh, bobblehead dolls of Baggio and Big, uh, Bagwell. baseball fans period but we are astro fans we, now we, if we, an owner does something like that we're all about it yeah that day we became astro fans we did hardcore we did. astro yes. fans we started following them i'm and like i'm rooting for this team and you know what guess what that kind of ownership that kind of leadership well they won the world series that year they sure did and that's what i was leading to yes. is that we were there in that stadium and we just we just the Copeland's blessed that stadium. We feel, right. we feel, and <laughs> they won the and they won the World Series. Well, you know what? Like, the co we started praying for them, and we started praying for that man. And I know that there's power in prayer. And I just, I, I just something in my heart spoke that day of his genuine kindness towards our kids, and that moment that most people will never ever have in their life or even I Memphis think it, it, doesn't even understand how big it was. Yeah, I don't think they they realize they how, realize how, how awesome, awesome that, that was. owner of a team did that. Yeah. So yeah. it was a great day. Yeah. It was Shay's birthday. Yeah. He was forty that day. That was your fortieth. The last that. It was. Yeah, it was. Because I had a big thing for you back oh, at our right. apartment. I was forty there when we got back. So it was just awesome. It was really awesome. So now we'll lead you into um, Christmas rolled around. So that was August and Christmas rolled around and Memphis started begging for a dog. Now here's the thing. Waverly had moved out that same August and we had a, we have big dogs, but then we had an inside dog that was Waverly's that she, was mine and Shay's baby, Molly Kate. And Memphis was still at home in those times when we had Molly Kate and he would hold her all day long. He kind of had her just snuggled up all day, every day, didn't he? Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, he loved that dog and Waverly took that dog when she moved. And so, cause it was her dog. So he wanted a dog and he started saying, I'm going to ask Santa for a dog. And so Shay and I started talking about it because, you know, we needed to give Santa the okay to bring that dog. And um, we decided we were going to let Santa bring Memphis a dog if w the kids had been good enough. So we gave Santa a letter along with Memphis's that said, if you bring the kids a dog, Shay said, you, you're who thought of it that his name has to be Astro. Yes, 
Yes, Shay's the creative. Shay's the brilliance of everything we do. I just go along with it and pretend I'm part of it. So um, Memphis kept anxiously waiting, and the day Santa came, and he left them a note to go find their big gift in their room, their um, superhero room, and. In this blue cage was this beautiful, sweet puppy. Go, go, go. Well, let's see what this is. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Slow down. We're coming. Slow down. Wait, look. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Dear Can I read this? Okay. Yeah. Dear Cup and Cree Six, we had so much fun being at your house this see Christmas season, playing ping pong, reading, playing games, and being silly. Everyone has been really good this year. We had to go back to help Santa load all the toys and gifts for all the boys and girls. We told Santa that y'all were good. Merry Christmas. Jesus is the reason, and we love y'all, Buddy and Poppy. Go! Jesus is the Come reason. All right. Come on, boys! Run, 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 run. Train him. Sit I bet he needs to potty. Okay, puppy, come on. Astro, Astro, say Astro. Come on, Astro. Easy, Memphis. Easy, easy, easy. It's a little puppy. It's a boy. It's a boy. Him. Go potty. Yeah. Her likes me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Astro. Oh, cute. Yes, yes. Oh, hey, hey, Astro. Hey, I told you Santa was gonna bring me a little. Ah, uh, you did, didn't you? Astro doctor for Christmas from Santa. Yeah, you know the dog. I get a real dog. <laughs> I get a real dog. <laughs> Astro, Can you here. believe Santa brought you uh, a <laughs> puppy? And I'm telling you, he is the best. The best. He saw he's a protector, too. He lets <laughs> us know if somebody's on this property. And uh, the most awesome dog. And on the cage, there was a big um, tag that said, we love, we love you, Copeland's from Santa, and you're... Boy dog's name is Astro, so it's not after the Jetsons, even though I like the Jetsons. Yeah, I grew I up watching the Jetsons. I really thought we were going to have flying cars by too. the time. I did too. We were this age. I really did. But this dog is an Astro fan. He's a baseball fan, and he's in a baseball family, but he is the sweetest, kindest. He's a perfect dog for our family. Yeah. He's a double doodle, for those of you that don't know his breed. He's not, there's different levels of golden doodles, but he is a double doodle. <laughs> so he was a doodle bred to a doodle. <laughs> so he Believe is, me, a lot of study went into this. Oh, so he's About, got great temperament. He is loving and he doesn't shed. He's like the perfect dog. He's a great dog. He, he really is. So, so we love him. That's how Astro came to be. Stay tuned. You're going to get to see Waverly's new place start to finish. That's going to be on our next vlog. That's the vlog we're working on. I'm actually about to run over there today and see how it's going. Shay and I have been over there a lot. She's needed a lot of help with organizing and putting stuff Looks good. together. But it's looking really good. I think it's going to be an awesome fit for her. Yeah, it's a good it's nice. So thank y'all for tuning in. Subscribe. It's free. And keep watching us. All right. Have a great day. Peace. Bye.